Yeah. Hello, Bloodstains. So tonight I am going to record the match between Chris and Liam. And as we'll see, as a bit of a disclaimer, I am going to be using their actual names. I will and the names of all the coaches, and we will ask permission before I put it into the new YouTube channel that I have set up for our league. And then we can go from there. So let's just get into the season. They're about to start in a couple of minutes. And when we get into the match, we will catch up with them. I'm in the wrong place. That probably doesn't help. Uh, let's have a quick look. So season 12. Here we go. Round 5 of season 12. The last match. Chris is human. It's the 4077 smash versus Liam's. The Orksha Rippers. So let's have a quick little look at their teams. We've got a 1720 Orc team and a 1020 Human team. I think the, the, the odds are a bit stacked against Chris on this one. But let's just go and have a little look. So here's the Orksha Rippers team roster. Uh, we know in the recaps they, they do a, a proper breakdown of everything. So you don't need to get into it too much. But just to get a general idea before we get into it. So as you can see, you've got Donald Trump as a thrower there. That's a strength four, move six thrower. He's got, uh, oh, got a lot of, have a little look. So he's got kickoff return, block. You know, he, he could definitely make or break this, this game. Uh, I think purely on, on a TV level, I think the, the Rippers of are a little bit the favourites here, um, depending on the inducements, of course, that Chris chooses. So that, that's that's it. So he's got <clears throat> pretty standard orc setups here. So let's have a little look. So mostly guard and blocks and mighty blows. Nothing unusual here. He's got a few injuries going on. Mostly they're going to be niggling injuries. He's played this team for, I think it's about three seasons. He's done pretty well. So that is good. This is his most leveled up blitzer here. He's probably going to be another star. You know, he's got strip ball. It's very difficult on an orc team to get a proper ball sucker. I mean, you could maybe make a thrower into one, but they're only movement five. I mean, it, 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 he's made some all right choices there. So that, that's just good. We've got to have a little look at uh, Chris's humans. Oh. Chris's humans over here. So obviously they're the underdogs. And you know, they have, this is their first season. He's brought a brand new team in. We can see he's got a couple of missed next games here. Lyman, he can live without those. That's okay. He's catcher, obviously. Giving it block and sidestep. Good skill choices going on there. Uh, that's it, really. Poor old Chris. I'm sure you'll do fine, mate. I'm sure you 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 might surprise um, us all and, and, and be an underdog victory here. It really is going to depend on the inducement choices that you have. So a little look on the where they are on the leaderboard here. So, you know, you've got... Uh, yeah, they're quite close to each other on the leaderboard. Uh, you know, whoever wins is going to go up a level. Yeah, whoever wins will go up to one. Uh, we're not going to go again. The, the recap is the place for actually examining the entire leaderboard. We're just looking at this match and where these guys are. So they're not in the, I understand, they're not in the top four. Uh, this could be an important victory, though. Uh, it's all to play for for the fourth position in this league. Uh, it's absolutely whoever wins this could find themselves in the semis. Definitely. So let's go and see if they have started. Onto Cabal TV. Here we go. So search for match. Let's get the league name in. No, they haven't started yet. So let's just go back and uh, we'll go and have another little look. Uh, hopefully they will be starting soon. 
do bear with me on the delays. I understand that even though this is a recorded video, it's actually being recorded during the live match. So maybe we can just, just not, not to take anything away from the recaps. Uh, let's just have a look at who they're going to be next. Uh, the humans have got uh, the Callum's Wood Elves next. That will be, be an interesting match. They both started uh, pretty new. The Yorkshire Rippers are against the AI. So the, yeah, if the Yorkshire Rippers win this match, then they're likely to win their next match. That's definitely going to put them up there. Uh, of course, the humans in day seven will be against... Uh, Matt's Pro Elves. Matt's Pro Elves are very much the favourite, I think, to win this season, of my own personal opinion. Um, obviously, I'm hoping I beat them, but you know, uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, and we've got, uh, you could tell this is still a little bit ad hoc, you know, I just noticed the game was going to get played. I thought, yeah, why not? Let's do this. Uh, where, where are they gone? That's. The Yorkshire Rippers, there we go, and he's against Ken's Vampires. I'd like to say a few words about Ken's Vampires. You know, he, he's done, taken it like a champ. Similar to Mike Lizard's in the first season, you know, he, he, he had some pretty crucial casualties on his team, and he, he's powering through that, and he, he's given it his all. And so, you know, just a bit of props up for you, Ken. That's 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 good on you, mate. That's a good, good thing. And the Yorkshire Rippers are again against Callum's uh pro elves there and oh yeah you know, humans against uh jay's goblins that'll be an interesting match you know keep out the way of the chainsaws that's the trick there so yeah i think this is a match they're really playing for fourth place here you know um i don't mean to be derogatory against anybody of course not but um i i think if we look again at the uh, leaderboard Oh, that's the wrong board. Uh, sorry, guys. Like I said, it's still a little bit ad hoc. Season 12. On the leaderboards. You know, you, you can see that this is a fight for fourth place. This is a, definitely a fight for fourth place here. I mean, it is possible. Anything can happen. There's still enough rounds to go that games could be lost and, and so on and so forth. But I think that's, that, that's a pretty reasonable thing. So I'm just going to go back and see if they've started yet. And if not, I'll have to think of something else to fill up the void with. It is all good. Search for match. Back in. No, not quite yet. Sorry guys, I thought I left it with enough time. I, I thought I was coming on. I thought I thought after I'd done my preamble that they would have potentially started. So Chris has been with us since season one. He started with the lizard team. Um, after the lizards, he, he's taken a lot of teams that are difficult to play. He was the first person to take on vampires. You know, he, he likes to take on interesting teams it is interesting to see that now that he is taking on more standard teams that you know he is getting up on the league tables so if, you, if you look at his high elf team in neophyte he's done very well with them and that, that's very good and as for liam you know liam's been with us oh, two three seasons um he was pretty much a brand new player he, he was playing with his mates you know that they were all kind of new to the game and that's one level of the game and there's nothing wrong with that but of course you come and join the league we've got some very experienced coaches and that never fazed Liam so you know he, he he's given it his all every single season he's never dropped out he's never moaned he's never complained he's understood that he needed to get better and he's done what he's needed to do to get better I think I think you can see that a lot in this season with what he's done with the York team. He is thinking about changing teams uh, later on. Um, I work with Liam, so we obviously we talk a lot about Blood Bowl, why we go for smoke breaks and stuff like that, you know. He's thinking of, not, not, not for any other reason than, you know, you play a team for a few seasons, you want to move on and try some others. And he's played in some side leagues, so he's got a Necro team and a... Uh, dark elf team and he's tried a few of those sort of things so it's 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 you know it, it's been very interesting but i tell you what guys if you're not starting to play very soon i'm going to go on to the 
Facebook, I'm just going to give your boyfriend a kick up the backside. So, you know, hopefully you guys have started. And no, okay, so I, again, I apologize, guys. Maybe I, I should have thought about this a little bit better. You can just listen to me ramble on for a little bit more. That's all good. Should we just have a little look at the Hall of Fame for now? Let's see if they've got any plays in the Hall of Fame. So understand, t t tonight is all about uh, Liam and Chris and, and their team. So let's have a look into the season 12. So there we go, straight away, most experienced. Most experienced. I always bother with that. No offence, Liam, you got two plays in that, but, you know... That, that's fine. Uh, mind you, you know, you're, you're all beating Barry's team. Barry, uh, Barry's Norse have been in the in the league for a very long time now. We, we keep, you keep saying every season how you might change it next season, and uh, he never does. And that's no no offence, Barry, but you're allowed to play what you want. Most violent. We've got the Yorkshire Rippers into the most violent. That, that, that's, that's about expected, really. That's about expected. I mean, you know, and it's the troll. So, yeah, that, that's pretty cool. So we've got the best receivers. And, of course, there we go. Chris's catcher beating both the Pro Elves. That's a pretty good feat. you got to give Chris kudos for that. He's obviously getting the human passing game down. And that might give him some big favours for tonight. That's 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 a pretty good sign, really. Serial kills. So, understanding, we don't 100% know what everything means. I think serial kills is just how many kills that you've got there. Um... But again, they're, they're not in that, so we'll skip over to best interceptors, which is if you happen to roll the six and the ball passes over you, so we'll, we'll skip over that one. Uh, they're not in biggest brutes. They're not in best throwers. But there we go, best rushers. Uh, let's have a look. Maybe, maybe if you look at the stats and that other score, I don't, not 100% not sure though what Best Rushes has. I have looked into these things, but Cyanide are not uh, actually very transparent on what any of this actually means. I mean, by the name Best Rushes, he's probably run the most miles up the pitch or something. Who knows? But, you know, he got to number one for whatever that is. That's all good. Uh, best Passes. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't expect to see anybody from those teams in there. Best Scorers. So there you go. The catcher again. There for the humans. Number two, that's pretty good. Considering that we've got Pro Elves, I mean, you know, the Pro Elves are uh, quite high scoring teams, you know, to, 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 to be in the top three in a league with this many Elves, that's pretty good going. And most matches played, we're back to that again. And that doesn't really mean a whole lot. That's everybody's. If you look at the, the whole thing, if you haven't died, you're going to be in that. So. Yeah, most matches played, not that important. Best punching bags, that's always fun. But hey, they're not in that either. That's, that's, that's kind of good. And then we're back to the beginning again. So let's just have a little look again and see, hopefully, hopefully they've started now and we can get on with the main event. That's what you're all waiting for. That's what I hope to deliver. So let's just have a little look. There we go. And it started. So we've got to have the uh, loading screen, of course. So you just all bear with me on that. I don't know. I don't want to give a prediction about, about who will win and who will not win. I want to try and remain impartial. And I just really want to just commentate the match. I, I think I think that, that that's a good thing. Like I said, I think uh, on TV difference, I mean, it's quite a high TV difference. So let's have a little look. So here we go. Oh, we're in the pouring rain. Of course, it starts right in. Let me just pause that. And we're going to go back to the beginning of the match. And it's going to catch up. And that's fine. So let, let's have a little look from the start. Sorry, guys. A little bit disjointed. Uh, when we do these things in the future, we will try and coordinate it a little bit better. Come on. So it looks like they've got the pouring rain. And we're still in the pouring rain. Hopefully there are no technical problems. There we go. 
let's just hit that forward. So, okay, let's see what we can have a little look. So it looks like Chris has got a reroll there. He hasn't taken a wizard. He's taken two Bloodwiser babes. He's got a star player on the pitch. Let's have a little look at that. He's got Mighty Zargo up. The kickoff's happening. And here we go. So let's 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 have a look. So Gleam's using his kickoff return there. And it's a high kick. So who is who does Liam want to put under? So let me just get these skills up so we can see what's going on skill-wise. Oh, yeah. Pouring rain. Very, very difficult pass. Has Liam bought anything? No, pretty standard. He does have the plus one fame, as you can see there. So let's get into the match. So there we go. A little bit of block with the troll. Let me just reduce that. Just down to the skills that they have. There's a little bit that you, you know, I'm assuming you all know the basic skills of all the players. So it, there's, there's Liam trying to bust through the line here. And there we go. There's a black orc. He's obviously, that's pretty good. He's trying to secure the ball. He's trying to get some, some players around that ball. He's in the pouring rain. You know, this is, this is a four plus pickup. So it's a sensible thing to do. You know, he's, he's making some safe plays before. There we go. But he's picked it up. And that's, that's a good thing. So there we go. He's running down the pitch. What are we going to have? So a little bit of a plus movement going on. He's going to try and blitz through there. Okay, yeah, yeah. He, he's not got anybody off the pitch yet. He, he, as long as he takes it slow and cautious, he, he, he should be all right. So here we go. Chris is straight in there with oh, the boneheads on the ogre. <clears throat> that's what you get with the big guys, I'm afraid, sometimes. A bonehead on the ogre. But that's not the end of the world. He's got the mighty zug. He's smacking that, down, that black orc down. Yeah, he's getting that assist in. He's just gonna try and yeah. There's a bit of bit of delaying tactics are gonna be going on here. Yeah, and um that's pretty much what we expect to see. So what I'm, so yeah, you 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 know it's it, it's a bit difficult to tell the bit the positionals apart on Chris's team, but uh, that's a blitzer. He's moving that up there. So he's got his the thing. So that's, I believe, a line. No, a catcher. That's Major Frank Burns. There's his star player. He's going to have a little bit of a hit with him. Is that where he's got block? Yeah, no, okay, yeah. A little bit dangerous, but yeah. He, he's trying to, it looks like he's just trying to contain the orcs in a little bit. And just trying to dominate the pitch position there. So let, let's just have a little look. What's Liam, Liam's turn? Come on, Liam. you got to stand those players up on the ground first, mate. Do not just leave them down there. Stand up, your players. There we go. So he's going to get those Black Orcs up. Very important in order. There we go. Yeah, get those up first. That's what we're talking about. And he's he's got a lot of guard on his team. I mean, he 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 could just smash through that center there. There's there's a bit of a gap right there. But it is possible he could. Oh, he's going to go down the side. Okay, no, that that's also it's viable. It's absolutely viable. So he's going to take out that blitzer with the ball carrier. Yeah, dangerous. Always dangerous. You could double skull that, and you know. Did, but you know it's worked it's worked but now now he's got to cage that up he's got to protect that ball carrier so there we go we've got the plus movement lineman going on there just having a double check yeah plus movement lineman there moving that blitzer down yeah you, you've got to do it. i mean it's always tempting to use side lines you can build up a bit of a cage you don't need always need as many players with that, but you do risk getting your guy smacked off and that ball going out onto the pitch and just landing in the worst possible place and, and conceding the touchdown. So this, this is a risky play, really, I would say. That's a bit, oh, he's double skulled. Uh, it's all right, he's got the re-roll. Go on there, let's see what happens. Go and give him a smack. 
Give him a smack. There we go. Does he get the injury? He gets a stun. Oh, on, yeah. I mean, people always feel a bit disappointed with the stuns, but, you know, they can actually go any really stupid on the troll. So here we're looking at why some of us say we're not that keen on the big guys. Yeah, they've got the strength, they've got everything else, but they don't have the reliability. And as usual, I'll try not to move the camera around too much, but I'm, I am trying to, trying to follow the game. So there's another Black Hawk. Go oh, and give him a smack. And he's KO'd. So, yeah, that's 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 not a bad start. Um... That, that's going to give him a pl number advantage. That, that's a good thing. That's always a good thing, getting a KO. So moving that in. He's potentially left himself a little bit open. Let's have a look. Can, can Chris get anything into that into that position? So he's he's got a line man right there. Yeah, well, he's going to fireball. That's a good use of the fireball. That, I'd say that that's, that's exactly. He's got a KO there. I'd say that was a good move there, Chris. You definitely want to use the fireball there. You've not loose the ball. If you can. That's always a good thing. You do. Now it's just a case of can you capitalize on it. So that's the trick with the wizard. It's not just about I'm going to hit them when they're all together, it's can I get somebody to capitalise on the fact that ball's down there. I think he can do this. He can do this. If he doesn't follow up here, which he does, or he might have blocked himself in a little bit there. Let's have a look. He, he's got a lineman. He's got a journeyman lineman free who could potentially sure. grab that ball. Uh, oh, no, no, that's all yet. Yep, okay. Ah, but he has to go for it. Fails to go for it. He, you know, he hasn't given himself a lot of room to manoeuvre there. And he is right next door. Now, is he going to pass? Is he going to go for a pass? No, he doesn't go for the pass. Doesn't go for the pass. But he does have the ball possession. Up comes Yoga. Doesn't bonehead this time. That's always a good thing. Don't try and talk louder than me. He doesn't have yet. Yeah, didn't bonehead that time. The trick's going to be for Chris is that if he can get that ball carrier into a safe position in the next turn. He's left it a little bit open there. Let's see what Liam can do. Liam could knock this ball carrier down. He's having a little think. We're in the pouring rain. There's, there's, that's not great for either team. Okay. All right. Yep. Yeah. Why did you start? Maybe take out the outside and uh, puts him down. Hello, It's always difficult to... Uh, to compensate for your opponent having a wizard, you you remember they've got one. But if you if you run the ball carrier out to avoid the fireball, you're going to get lightning bolted. If you keep him up in the cage, you're going to get fireballed. I mean, there's not a lot that Liam could do. Chris has brought it out early, so we just keep doing this. So yeah, knocks down the mighty Zug, trying to fight his way through, and he blocks. Every single thing you say. So he's got to think about this. This is this is not the most terrible of positions. That's it. He's got the side step, so he's never going to get the ball off the pitch. But he, he he might still get it out there in the open. Can he capitalize on it though, wherever it goes? If he gets a stun, yeah, it's not a bad position. But now I'd run that blitzer up and grab that ball. Well, what's he going to do? It's a it's a dodge roll. 
and a pick up, but you know it's better than leaving that ball out in the open. So let, let, let's see what he does. But but I would run that blitzer down. Oh, and he fails the dodge roll. He does go for it. Yeah, using the re-roll there was probably wise. It doesn't matter now if he fails to pick up the ball. At least he'll at least he'll have a tackle zone on it. So that that that's that. Oh no, no, he's not going to risk. I oh, didn't risk. Uh, that's uh, okay. Yeah, no, that's that, that's pretty viable. Oscar. So now we've got, he's taking a bit of time to think about it, and that seems fair enough, having to think about it. The trick here, of course, is, is is to make it so that Chris has wasted that wizard. If he's wasted that wizard, you know, that's a lot of TV. The wizard can win you the game. The, the wizard can get you a touchdown. Oh, no. Oh, he's got an injury. Off on his hook. He's plus movement lineman. It's not the end of the world, though. Uh, he's definitely got stronger players still left on the pitch there. So that that's good. That's good. He might zug. Yeah. But Chris really needs to recover that ball now. Oh yeah. So yeah, getting a few of the dodges in. Swear. It's always quite difficult. So he's going to go for the blitz. Yeah, that's uh, one dice. One dice is always dodgy, guys. I mean, in this case, it, it's worked out. You can pick up that ball, but he can't throw it. But if he had sculled that, yeah, and he, he's failed. The, yeah, it's going to be difficult in the pouring rain for both of these teams. Yeah. That could have been worse. It could have been worse. At least, at least, at least it's landed in the middle of his own guys. So now we've just got to have a little look. What's Liam gonna do? Oh, a double skull, never a thing, something you wanna see. Yeah, he can knock him down though. He hasn't he hasn't got skills yet, so boom. Is is Liam gonna be able to recover the ball in this turn? He doesn't need to. He probably would be better off trying to play it safe. Trying to get some of his own tackle zones down on that ball. Make it difficult for the humans to pick it up. Uh, I mean, he's down one player, but he's got so much guard that you know that definitely makes up the discrepancy in the play. Then there we go. He's just even the playing field. We've got a level playing field now. That that that's very interesting. Though, but it's only a knockout. The knockout can come back. So you know, as we all know, you know, injuries a bit more worthwhile than a knockout. We'll have to see. So he's got he's got multi block on his troll. We're going to see if this actually pays off for him in the game. You know he, he turned down a plus strength for the block, and I agree with that. I think that was for me that was the right decision. I I know there's there's a argument for taking the six strength, but let, 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 let's see what happens. We're on turn four. It's by no means a sure thing for either team at the moment. But yeah, he's doing the clever thing. He's not going to risk trying to pick that ball up in two tackle zones in the pouring rain. It's it's on on, on a on a three agility in the pouring rain. You're looking at a four plus. That's the six to pick up. There we go. Money. Just getting those tackle zones onto the ball. And in such a way that it's hard. You might, Chris might be able to knock one or two off, but it, but but it'll be difficult. You know, he's got to make that difficult. So into turn four. Yeah. So oh oh, you got the bonehead and the loner. I don't know if I would have risked a reroll on that. 
personally, but you know, you, you, you like it's always it's always very easy to, to say what we would do when we're watching the game. As we all know, it's very different when you're when you're actually in the game. So I I can see why he, he would have gone for that re-roll in the heat of the moment. So you know, I think he'd be better off just marking that black orc and moving the other one out. I I wouldn't be bothering. I mean, you know, you can outrun those black orcs so easily, you know. But you know, he's putting up a good fight here. He is putting up a good fight here. Oh, he's got the both down. He's got the block. I'm on your team, okay? He does run the risk, of course, that the orcs are going to be able to power. Oh, he's gone for the pickup. Not sure that was the right move there, but. No, no. Chris is in a very difficult position, you know, he, he, he at this point. Trying to smash your way through the orcs with humans it is a difficult task to do, definitely. So the trolls had a bash, gone through the really stupid there. That's good. He didn't really stupid. Liam really needs to concentrate on securing that ball now. As you can see, he's got a big gap down that left-hand side. He needs to be able to utilize that. So yeah, get get maybe clearing out some of the humans. That that that's not a bad a bad call. Oh, there we go. He's got to use that black orc to clear out. Let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. Take down that thrower. But he's used the blitzer to do that and not the black orc. Well, he's still got the blitzer right next to it. He can still pick it up with that. There we go. He's got a stun. Got a nice clear run down there. If he's got to go for it with that blitzer. Oh, no, he's going to do the bashes first. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Get, get some of those humans yeah. down on the ground. That's cleared him a nice clear path down there. Let's see if he goes for that. Of course, he does risk getting blitzed by the ogre if he goes for it too soon. Yeah, secure that ball. Yeah. But it's still in a fairly secure position there. It's always difficult in the pouring rain. You know, I've played Camry. I'm used to a bit of the 4-plus pickups. But they're such so not a sure thing. You know, even on a three plus, it can be hard. So yes, of course, you know, with Orcs, he hasn't got a lot of dodge on that team. Get it down. Yeah, he's he's got to close up that gap a little bit. He's got he, you know, very open down that side there. Oscar keeps saying Ogre doesn't bonehead for once. There we go. He gets him in a not a bad position there. Um. Couple of journeymen on the team. So they're always a bit tricky to know what to do with those guys. There we go. He's going to try and blitz that guy oh, away. Gets the two dice block. Gets the down, doesn't follow, wise move, goes for the pickup, gets the pickup, gets the pickup. This, this could be a turning point in the half for Chris. Oh, and he fails to go for it. He's got a re-roll, yep. Day goes for the re-roll. Who smokes? Will he go? No, then that's, that's that, then that's that. A little bit out there in the open. Getting on to turn six now. Liam's got to be feeling the pressure at this point where we're well into the first half. Oh, and it's a dead radar O'Reilly. 
Will he apoc that back? He tries to apoc a theriot. What do we get? And he's injured. He's injured. On a missed next game. Always better than a death there. Always better than a death. He's just got to hope that no pinnacle... Well, I say no pinnacle players, but of course, as we looked at his roster, he, ha he hasn't got... He's got a pretty good star player distribution, and he's a new team, so he hasn't got many levels up there. So saving someone with the star player points makes a bit... It does make a bit of sense. <laughs> he gets the ball down. The Orcs are really going to have to pull the play out of their out of the hat in order to get a touchdown this half now. They can still do it. They've got the three turns, but but it all has to go very well for them now in order to get the touchdown for now. So he gets the blitzer in. Go going to get that secure that ball. Make it hard. Did you swim? Oscar, I want a high five. So, not much left in the way of plays. He's got he's got to free up some of those orcs. He does have that blitzer there over here. Look, he's got this blitzer that he could do something with. That blitzer could. There we go. Is he gonna? He doesn't go for the pickup. Yeah, he couldn't go for the pickup. Yeah, he's probably wise to not risk the go for it. No re-rolls on either side at this point. There we go. He gets the ball. He secures the ball. He hasn't got a whole lot of places he can run with that, though. I think at this stage... Uh, I mean, Chris could still score the touchdown if he can manage to get that ball, but he's really got to come up with a way to slow those Orcs down. He, he, the, the, the Orcs, that blitz is going to have to run the full distance every turn in order to have a chance to score. Chris has got to make sure he gets plays in the way there. So... Oh, he's going for the blitz on the Ogre, and... Oh, oh. That may have been a misclick. He may not have noticed it into the tackle zone there. Uh, I don't think the, the ogre's not leveled up. We know he hasn't got break tackle. That was an extremely risky. Ah, four plus a uh, five plus dodge. Yeah, pouring rain, of course. Five plus dodge. Oh, sorry, guys. And uh, now Liam's got to clear a path through. He could, he could absolutely do that. The push is fine. It gets them out of the way. That's it. He, he, he's Can you us? got to get that Black Hawk here. He's, that Black Hawk needs to get out of the way before he can really go for it. I mean, unless he wants to really try and go around this way. But my bet would be is, is it would be to blitz this journeyman out of the way. Let's that's, that's see what he does. Let, 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 let's see what... what, what, what 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 the, his take on it. He's obviously having a little bit of a think about it at the moment. Doesn't go for the blitz with the Black Hawk. But does move him out of the way. That's probably the more, more important part of that. There's no re-rolls, of course, at this stage of the game. So he does have to be careful with what he's doing. Uh, I possibly... I don't know if I would blitz with the troll. No re-rolls. If that troll really stupid, then... He frees up the might. He's like, oh, I would probably just keep the troll there as a rolled block. But that, that's, again, let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh, he's got another KO. He's got a little bit of a pitch clear there. Let's have a look. Can can he score in the two turns that he's got? One, two, oh, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there, with the go for it. So yeah, he, he has to do both go for it in this turn. He's got to go for it. He, he, he's got to try this. He might as well go for the touchdown. If he can get the ball down the pitch as well, Chris is going to find it very unlikely to, to, to go for the score. My prediction at this point is we, we might be going into the second half on a nil-nil score line there. So let's just... 
<laughs> now, now he's this. This is it. This is where he's considering: does he go for the I touchdown, or does he just, does he just go for the safety? He doesn't score, but neither does Chris. So here he goes. He's is he going to go for the go for it as well? He goes for the no. He goes for one go for it. Goes for both go for it. He goes for both go for it, and he makes it. This will all come down to whether the mighty Zod can dodge out of there. So he gets the push there. Okay. Not able to mark that catch. That is a, yeah, not able to mark the catcher. The catcher's strength too, though. That would be oh, a two yeah. dice uphill. I mean, he has to get more players onto that ball carrier if he, if he oh, wants a yeah. chance of knocking that off. So he's going to mark with that. Oh, but is it? Would you know? No, he goes for the block with the mighty Zug. He's got the catch in a good position to make this to make it difficult. Uh, of course, Liam can just have tried to blitz that out the way, but if he blitzes and that catch doesn't go down and he doesn't follow up, you know, it did it, 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 it's a tricky position to be in. It is a tricky position to be in. Not much in the way of injuries, a couple of KOs, a couple of injuries, but you know. Oh yeah, he does go for the blitz, he gets the push. It's not a bad position to be in, I mean, it's a four plus dodge in the pouring rain. I think. Or is pouring rain just picking up? I can't. Uh, yeah, it's picking up and catching. So yeah, no, it's a th it's a three plus dodge. No re rolls. He's not going to be able to, to 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 yeah. He goes for the dodge and he goes for the touchdown. There we go. We're going to go into the second half. One nil to the Orcs. Quite an intense first half for both players. And yes. So let's have a look. Do any, oh, all the human KOs come back. That's definitely probably a blessing there for Chris. And of course, here comes the Black Orc. So that, that keeps the numbers reasonably even. We got one more turn to get into the second half. Of course, he's going to pull all these players back. <clears throat> not going to leave anything on there. I mean, they're, they're, he's not scaven. He's not going to get a one-turn touchdown. No point in in messing about about what he puts on the line of scrimmage. So he looks like he's going to leave some some of his stronger players there. Uh, that's I say that's kind of viable. It's going to be you know Chris is going to have to commit quite a lot of players in, into doing that. It's going to make him harder to knock down. Well, They've I'm mostly got sure guard I'm there. I'm going to... Thanks. Thanks, Lewis. They're probably both hoping for a changing weather kickoff table Thanks, result. Lewis. Pouring rain again is probably the worst kind of weather for both these teams. Uh, no, I think... So, of course, he's going to put some strong showing there on the line of scrimmage. Lewis is the prize. And here we go. Oh, no. It's still in the setup stage here. Okay, I'm going... Dude. Oh, my God. You've got a bot on your team. Changing weather nice, their prayers have been answered. Back to the nice, perfect Blood Bowl weather. Both teams probably breathing a sigh of relief at this point. Getting into the... Oh, he's injured the Black Hawk. Badly hurt. 
not worth the apothecary. I agree with that. He's got enough guard in his team. That's not that's not going to hurt him too much, really. Why well, is my he's not going to get 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 it? Yeah, not really. Gets a push. I think I'm a he didn't. I think he took any bribes. He has. I wonder why he did spend all his money on. Uh, yeah. He had quite a lot of inducement money. Yeah, uh, Alex. He had a uh, wizard. Yeah. We did miss the Alex. beginning. Maybe, maybe he took the halfling chef. We'll see that in the second half. Good evening. I'll No. So he goes for the pickup as well. Does he, he's going to go for a pass? Get that yeah. one star player point. Always worth doing. Always worth doing if you can. And a foul. He's going to get stuck right in there. That's what we like to see. We like fouling in this league. Only a stun, but you know you got if you can get that stick that boot in, you got to stick that boot in. And there we go. We go into the second half. One nil to the Orcs. Yeah, Still not yeah, a foregone conclusion. And uh, still not a foregone conclusion. Chris could certainly come back on this. we got to see whether, whether he did actually take that halfling master chef. I have a sneaking suspicion that he did and we just missed it. <clears throat> I'm afraid we're all lumbered with the same system as cyanide. As you all saw, I did keep checking if the match had started. I get in and it's like five turns in, so who knows, you know, who knows. Uh, I was keen to just, just get in and start the commentary, so there we go. Yeah. We were looking to doing proper streams and maybe trying to get it a little bit more coordinated yeah. into the future, but this is creating the content. Mm -hmm. is reasonably new. Of course, Jay and Matt deserve a bit of a shout out for inspiring much of this and hopefully you know we'll, we'll keep going on the recap so we want to try and bring some extra content to you but don't be surprised if we ask around the league a little bit obviously we're a bit of a one-man show we do need support from all the coaches we do need you know coaches to get on board with it it's how all the major leagues went they didn't just magically appear with all this content you know the, all the coaches wanted to do it and they all got together and they all did it so you know partly on the content side it really is up to like the league in itself we we get the content that, that we're all willing to put the effort into getting so here we go he's got the brilliant coaching i didn't see a halfling pop up didn't come up there i i am a bit curious about what chris actually took for inducements i see mighty zug i saw the wizard oh he's got re-rolls maybe i missed it i don't know he's got five re-rolls Yeah, no, maybe he took some re-rolls as the inducements. Sorry, Chris, no offence, mate. The, the, the side of this game is not particularly good at, at say, knowing what the inducements were. Uh, I know in the recap they've had problems with that in the past, with knowing exactly what, what teams have taken. You know, It can be very difficult to tell sometimes. Anyway, back to the match. He's getting in there, getting stuck in there. And he has to think about this. I mean, d d d he, at the very least, he needs to go for the tie. But sometimes you have to go for it in order to get the victory. So, you know, whether Chris goes for that early touchdown or not. Yeah, he secures the ball. No more pouring rain. He gives it a pass. Chris is very good at doing this. He, he, he takes the opportunity to get the star player points on the players that need it. It's all part of the game. Fouls that troll. 
Oh, he's oh, he's an injury on the Zodiac Killer. Niggler, he's got a niggle. He's using the he uses the Apoc. He does use the Apoc. I'm always in two minds on that. I think that's a leveled up troll. I think he's got some good skills. I can see using the Apoc and not relying on the regen in that case. And a niggling injury is an issue. It is an issue. It makes it makes that player a target. I I can see Tate using the Apoc uh, at that point. Chris really needs he, he, but it has come some way that 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 allows Chris. He's gonna he, he could punch a hole through through the middle now. Liam having a little bit of a think about what he wants to do. Nothing wrong with that. Get that, yeah. Sure. Getting him knocked out. That's it. I don't want to shut on this. Chris is definitely putting up a good show in this match. He's very out TV'd against a much, okay. much more experienced and leveled up team here. Uh, inducements only go so far in, in, into leveling that score. I mean, he is down a touchdown, but, you know, he yeah. is putting up a very, very good fight. Not to take anything away from Liam, of course, who, as we've said, is a very good developing coach. So no, nobody's made any massively glaring errors here. Liam just got caught out on having that wizard, and it's very difficult sometimes to uh, mitigate for, for that wizard when you know your opponent's got one. Mighty Zug trying to earn his pay. As I've said before, you know, star players are a very uh, double-edged sword. You know, when they, they 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 can work, they 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 can be the the best inducements you can get, or they can get killed in the first turn. It it, it it's very difficult to know. I, I think taking the mighty zug though, that's not a bad choice for the humans there. But he's got to move that ball up the pitch, and there we go. I don't know about that. It's a bit of a risky move yeah. there. I mean, I'm sure he's going to try and blitz that that blitzer away. He's, of course, the ogre's boneheaded. You can't rely on the big guys, yeah. you know. Personally, I think they're better off as roadblocks. You get them into good positions and you just leave them there. The more you try and move them, the more you risk their nega traits, you know. Yeah. It's very tempting with strength. Five and might, but I'm just understanding that. So he's going to blitz that blitzer away. He does get him down. Blitz has not rolled a double. He hasn't got. He's not got dodge on him. But but he is now, and it is a precarious. This is a precarious part when you're trying to break through. You know, he's got the ball carrier quite close to the line there. Yeah. He's moving those guys up from the rear. Oh, fouling with a journey, of course, why wouldn't you? We'd like to see fouling. I'm always going to applaud all fouling at all times. Oh, it's what we want to see is more fouling. More turn 16 yeah. fouling as well, chaps. Don't listen to the wusses on the community oh. crying about, oh, you two fouled me at turn 16. They're wusses. You know, they don't play proper blood ball. We want to see more fouling. That's what we like to see. Liam can still break a hole here. He he could he could still get into there, and he could still get into into that into the where the ball catcher is. I'm betting that's Mr. Frank Burns in there. Look, he's got the ball. Yeah. Wait, can I do a dance on him? Yeah. 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 And he's gonna smack it in. That's it. Mark that ball carrier. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Try to make that a little bit harder for him. He might not want to run everybody forward. Of course, he wants to keep one or two orcs there in the backfield. Chris is no slouch when it comes to a bit of the passing game. As we saw 
when we were looking at the Hall of Fame and and that, we 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 saw that Chris does it's pretty good at knowing when when to take the risk and hand off and get some passes and it's very he's very good at that, you know. I'm guessing we're now catching up though with them. I think I think the first half went pretty quickly. Like I said, as you saw, I did try to get into the game, but it wasn't coming up. Uh, we we were about halfway. They were about halfway through the first half when we got in. So the first half went very quickly. So I, th I think we've now caught up with them. So so we're probably going to get uh, experience a little bit of slowdown because of course you know yeah. oh he's gone yeah or he gets yeah. Not sure I would have taken that, but yeah. I mean, doing doing the two dice uphill um, onto the yoga. Um, but again, as always, it's very easy to criticise coaches when when you're watching the game. As we all know, you know, in the heat of the moment when you're actually playing the game, you know. You feel a bit under pressure sometimes, and you just think, "Oh, I've just got to do this, and I'm just going to do it," you know. So the ogre doesn't bonehead; he's going to give it a bash onto that strength four. We're all hoping for a death, of course, because none of us want to face that player. But there you go, Liam. You got he got stunned. He got stunned. What can we say? You failed us all, Chris. You were meant to kill him. Only kidding, mate. Only kidding. Yeah, he's, he's getting moving that ball up the field. That's certainly one part of the play, but now he's got to secure his position when he's there. He's got to secure that position. And, of course, there we go. He's doing some marking. So I'd probably at some... Oh, yeah, he's doing the safety move first, but, you know, he, he probably wouldn't be a bad idea to maybe try and... Uh, Dodge this one away, and uh, yeah, no, that's guess. No, I'm wrong in that instance. So that seems yeah. fair enough. Yeah, that no, seems I'm fair enough. What can you say? Your team are so much bots that, uh, I think I think it looks it's looking pass. pretty good for Chris here. I think he's possibly going to get the equalizer here. He's getting them Black Hawks down. Oh, oh, and another KO. Another KO. Let's have a little look at those injuries while we're here. Let's just skip over that. So Liam's... Yeah, he's down the four players. We've got Chris. I should have checked there, Ben. It's down there. Chris is up the players. He's actually managing to out-injure the Orcs. That's, that's, that's not bad going. I don't think this has been Liam's game for the dice. We're not going to examine that after this commentary. We're going to leave that for Jay and Matt to go through during the recap, I think, um, is a thing. But my feeling is, having watched this game, I, I think I think, I think uh, Chris has had some good dice here. And I don't want to take anything away from the way that either coach has played. They have both played in a reasonable way. They have both played in a reasonable way. But, you know, it's blood ball. We, we do talk about the dice. So yeah, Liam's just trying to get some threats up there. No. At this stage, if I was Chris, I would think about just 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 going for a score as quick as possible. He's got his catcher there. Movement eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's got the four re rolls. I'd probably go for the score in the next turn and go for the victory if I was Chris. Yeah. Uh, that, that's my feeling on it. Um, you know, going for the draw and going for the safety, I mean, that's, that's not going to help him get into, into the top four. But certainly, you know, trying to get in that, getting a touchdown now and a second touchdown. I mean, he lead, that leads him with another four turns to get a touchdown. Guys, what do you want to do? That, 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 that would be thoughts? my thing. So understanding, of course, neither, yeah, neither yeah. coach can hear me. So... I'm not giving anything away here. Of course, Liam's doing the smart thing. Oh, he's going for that. Yep. 
goes for the blitz unfortunately just yeah of course when discussing these things you you can't discount that of course that sort of thing is going to happen Liam obviously saw that he's got a movement seven wow. though let's see what Chris does he's not going to go for the score with that guy then he's going to go for the blitz there so I think Chris may have may have damaged his chances of winning in that play I would potentially have picked the guy up off the floor and done that and I would have maybe have tried to get the ball I mean, nothing, of course, is guaranteed, but with the blitzer and handing off to, to, to the other blitzer and maybe going for the, the touchdown there. But if he if he scores the next couple of turns, it still puts him in, in with the range of victory. It'll just be a little bit harder. It'll just be a little bit harder. But both coaches have put up a good showing. And as always... I know I'm going to keep saying it in the early commentaries. You'll have to realise I'm, I'm, I have the, the thing of being able to sit back and count the squares and take it easy, and I'm not under any pressure. Of course, I'm going to say this, that, and the other. So hopefully, none, none of you ever take offence at anything. I know what it's like when you're in the middle of the game. You know, <laughs> you've got to make these decisions, and it, it's tough, and you're under the pressure, and it, 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 it's difficult. Sure. Oh, sure. No. But Liam's going to have to put that guard to good use. Liam could get a return. Oh, and of course, boom. Gets the double skull. Yeah. Doesn't re-roll it. So I think he used the re-roll earlier, so he couldn't re-roll it. And yeah. As we all know, there's very little guarantees in Blood Bowl. That hasn't particularly hurt him, though. Okay. Liam's got a Liam's still outnumbered. He's still he's still got to use the plays he's got on the pitch to, to, to the best effect that he can. I expect some of Liam's turns are now going to slow down a little bit because he really does have to think about what he's doing. Um, he's going to go for the one dice. Always risky. Always risky. You know, cost him a re-roll. <clears throat> and we all do it we've all done it we all take the chance on the one dice particularly with a, a piece that's got block and against a piece that hasn't got block you know it's understandable getting in some pals there oh that's going to be a stun Definitely caught up with the real match now. Getting that guard player into position. Yeah, that's a smart move. Take the push, get that marking on there onto the ball carrier. Definitely made it a little bit harder for Chris. Of course, about halfway through the second half now. It could still go either way. It's a bit bit, bit harder for, for, for a victory for Chris at this point, but it's still doable. It's absolutely still doable. Takes it down. See, at this point, I think I would have possibly have focused a little bit more on trying to help the ball carry. Of course, he, yeah, he's trying to free up the ogre there, takes the risk on the blitz, gets gets that, but what does he roll? Oh, yeah, it's worked out. It's worked out. Sometimes you've got to take those risks. He's got to free up that ball carrier. Gets the stun. Ogre's, of course, one of the better uh, big guys. Oh, got the yeah, got the double, the both down, and then the skull there. Takes the re-roll. Ha! 
has to take the both down there. Does he go for the four plus dodge? Four plus, oh good lord, four plus, four plus. Yeah, it's a bit, bit risky there, but. Can I have questions? Oh, failed, go for it. Oh, and here we go. He's got a death on the go for it. He does have a death on the go for it. Yeah. He's already used his apothecary. It's only a lineman. Yeah, you can survive that, Chris. That's not the end of the world. That's 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 okay. That could have been a lot worse. Obviously, it's never good, but I think Chris has got to play for the the draw now. Yeah. If Liam can take out that ball carrier, though, Lee, Lee, Liam could take the victory. It's all to play for at this point. Oh. And Liam wants that victory. As, as we saw, you know, they're both really playing to, 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 to try to get a secured place into the... Oh, another injury. Major Frank Burns. Niggling injury. Niggling injury on your star player there. Not the, uh, it's never good, never good. Not the end of the world, but never good. If he gets the second one, he's going to want to sack that player. <clears throat> one isn't the end of the world, but, uh, you know. There are differing, differing trains of thoughts on the niggling injuries, I, I think. So, as we saw, you know. Liam's Orcs have got a few niggling injuries. He's not sat them. It's, it's not. It's not done him an absolute world of harm here. There's another match. It's been full of injuries on both sides. Let's have another little quick. Oh, the, oh, he's gone for a dodge, a four plus dodge on the Black Orc. Yeah, always risky. Yeah. But he has managed to knock that ball loose. Chris is going to have to do some risky manoeuvres now in order to get that tie. So as we can see, Liam's down the five players there. Chris is down three players there. And as said before, Liam does have a lot of guard on his team, which, which can make up for, for a lack of player count there. And Bosch. It looks like Chris might actually get get that. He's is he going to yeah he's going to go for another blitz with the ogre. Risky move. Gets the push. Uh, he goes for pushing on the ball. Bit risky, but you know he's a bit trapped there. He's still got the two re rolls. Yeah, it's not 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 a bad call there, Chris. You know you got to sometimes you got to take that risk. Oh, it didn't pay off. But, you know, it might have four plus, you know, like we say. It always seems bad when it's in the pouring rain, but... I don't know. I don't he's still in with a chance to get the draw here. Um, Liam's probably not going to get another touchdown. The best he can do here is, is just to stop the humans from scoring. As best that he can. The ball's on the ground. He, he's he's oh got a good God. chance for victory what here. What are you on to start with? Then Bosch, down he goes. What? Uh, he's making a video. Mind you, one thing Liam hasn't done. He hasn't stand, stood up his players on the ground yet. It's always risky oh. taking those blocks. He, he really needs to take a second and, and have a look at the pitch and go, oh, no, I should do these less risky moves first. But again, I'm going to say it a third time. I'm just I'm watching and commentating. It's very easy for me to criticise. I'm sure if you ever commentate any of my matches, Liam, you're going to rip every single play I do apart and, and, yeah. and fair play to you. Fair play to you. A controller. He's having a little think. He's got a really... Get this through. He's got a tackle zone on the ball. Oh, he's going to go for that blitz. Yeah, it's not a bad call, but he's got the block. Of course, that uh, does he? He's going to try and risk a dodge out. No, that's probably the sensible move. And that that looks not going anywhere. He's got the blitzes. So I apologise to you again, Chris. It is very difficult to tell the human positions apart sometimes. It has been a very entertaining match, though. 
so yeah, it gets rid of him. He's got it. He could take down that Black Orc. Chris, Chris could certainly. I think Chris has got the equalizer. Oh no, he's gone for a dodge. Bit of a risky maneuver. Not sure what he was going for there. I'm on board, boy. Probably to try and get another uh, assist on that Black Orc. I think that that's what he was aiming for there. So, so not, not, not. I can I can see why why you would do that. Absolutely can see why you might want to do that. But he's got he's he's given himself one more turn to score. So Liam really is under pressure now to to make sure that that, that Chris can't just pick up that ball and get that equalizer. So he's going to smack that. I think that's a blitzer there. Yeah, that's a blitzer there. He's got to get some more tackle zones down on that ball. Uh, Going for the blitz that pays off this time. Mm -hmm. Bosch, get that guard player into a, sort of a good position. Make, make it hard for Chris to just blitz his way through to that ball. You've got to move that blitzer, Liam. What was the point of blitzing with him in the first place? You've got to move him somewhere. There you go. Yeah. I did it. Having a think, oh, probably we're going down here now. Oh, let's just 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 move that camera out. Let's let's just scroll that out a little bit. We got a little bit of action going on yeah. across the pitch. Yeah. I, I don't have to move. I don't know how to do land use. Goes for the one dicer. Not the end of the world. Yeah, you, you can't move that black orc. He's got to stay there. He's got the one tackle zone down the ball. Yeah, yeah. Is he going? Yeah, he goes for another blitz on the ogre. Yeah, but despite the boneheads earlier, but he doesn't blitz the black orc. Interesting. Doesn't 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 try and get that tackle zone off the ball. I think you've put yourself into it. Oh, yeah, no, of course. Yeah, okay. I see what you're doing there, Chris. So I didn't see that. That's fair enough. That is fair enough. Gets that ball. Oh, no. And he fails the pick up. Fails the pick up. So now really all Liam has to you know, it's the last turn. Liam's got the game in the bag. He's just he can, he can just take his time and try and do as much damage to the humans as possible. Oh my. Yeah, being, you know, what can we say at this stage? It, it's it's just let's see if he can get a little bit of damage on that. He, he start, he, he, he's 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 done a little bit of damage onto Chris's team. He has taken out one of Chris's well, Chris's only star player. Really, I mean that's not a criticism there, Chris. What can you do? You know, your new team. You have gotten the star player points. Goes goes for a foul there. Oh, okay, you know, we can all criticise the no assist foul, but hey, it worked. It worked. Didn't do major damage there. But, yeah, old clinger. And he gets sent off, but at this stage that really doesn't matter. So congratulations to Liam for the victory. I think you both put up a pretty good fight in that game. If you look, have a little quick look at the little star player points there. Unfortunately for Chris, it went on to the journeyman lineman. Not the end of the world. And of course for Liam, onto his damaged Blackhawk. But uh, yes, oh, I'm not going to start breaking down 
like I say, the stats and everything that happened in this game. We'll leave that for the recap. It was just to give you, get, get, start giving a little bit of commentary onto some of the matches that have been played. So thanks again for listening. I look forward to playing you all in the league. And uh, once again, congratulations to Liam for winning the match. But Chris, you did put up a good fight there. And that at points that that match could have gone either way. So it was a pleasure to commentate on your match, uh, Chris and Liam. And uh, yeah, once again, thanks for listening.